hello guys welcome back to my channel again i'm mankesh and in this video we are covering with a uh, ls minus lrt after ls command if you, you are getting that long list after ls minus l so what is this first column what is the second column third fourth and this entire is a fifth column and sixth column that uh, we are going to cover in this video so yes after using ls minus l the first column which you are seeing is it's a file types and permissions so let me copy paste this this i have just copied and uh, let me paste in my windows word it's um and uh, another one is uh, this uh, this is what the directory actually and uh, let me add this in the yeah uh, it was not copied successfully uh increasing some font size okay so this is actually that double dash this is also double dash so uh whenever you are seeing uh this thing so st at the starting you are seeing this dash so this dash means it's a file and if it is starting with d means it's a directory so this dash means it's a file and this d means it's a directory you can see here if it is starting with dash so it's a file so here file name start with the dash and directory start name start with the d so through this you can easily identify identify whether it is file or directory but after that you need to make some groups uh, i'm creating three three groups like one two three one two three one two three this extra one two three so i have created three three the group so this first three is um i'm marking in a green these are the permissions of the owner owner means what who is the owner of that file the creator of can be the owner or some ownership can be changing we have ch own command also in the picture through that also we can change the ownership but first three permissions uh it's for owner only uh owner of that files and directory then second three permissions are dash dash uh, this is uh, allocated to your group these three permissions of your group actually and at the last three permissions apart from your group other peoples can have these permissions so let me add this in the yellow so green permissions of the owner then blue is for group and last three is for others uh, if you are working in an industry, uh, see, uh, you are working in a one team. So it's a seven people's team. So if you have created that file, then you are the owner of that file. And your other team members will become in the group. And rest, apart from your seven, other people also have access of your server. So they will come in the other. And this is what the RW dash, this is a showing the permission. So I'll tell you dash means it's a no permission. Whether R is read permission w is write permission and x is execute permission so similar i have given in my notes as well look at here uh first column it shows file types and permissions uh your first column shows like this right so if if, if it is a d it means it's a directory okay and uh, here i have given the proper diagram how to identify files and d uh, first three permissions of the owner then this is the, these are the group permissions and later you can see the others and here i have given how many permissions are there we have only three permissions read write and execute dash means there is a no permission so all permission uh, will be there rwx means all permission will be there rw dash means what only read and write permissions will be there r dash dash means what only uh, read permission is there triple dash means there is a no permission dash w dash means only write permission will be there dash dash x only execute permissions will be there okay so you can see in my screen so you here you can see r w dash means owner has only read and write access uh, owner doesn't have the execute one group has only read access uh, dash dash no permissions means they don't have a write uh, and execute so that doesn't have it uh, again, other people also have only read permissions. So dash dash means no permissions. So this is a way uh, you can find out the permissions. If someone is asking you, 
let me go back here uh, ls minus lrt uh, my question is here last file is a double triple y dot txt can you please tell me which permission is there for the group so for group we have only read group doesn't have any uh, write and uh, execute you can see there it's only r dash dash so in in that way you need to identify which permissions is allowed to group others and owner there is a command to change this permission also we will see this command chmod and i'm changing the permission for last file actually ls minus lrt you can see i have changed the permission for everyone so this command we will see in the next to next video i'm going to create a separate video for ch mode so there i will cover up all those things but here you can see file types and permissions in unix after using ls minus l command so first column is your file type and permissions dash means uh, it's a file l means it's a linking files d means it's a directory so after that you can see this two two one one so this is about the default code actually uh, default code for a file is a one and for directory it is a two okay and this two can be changed in some flavors like uh, let me see i have a uh, sigwin also because in ubuntu my uh, that number is not changing and here also uh, for directory also it is showing one so this is also not showing properly but if you're working on a server this number you can see sometimes it is showing three or four it means what in that particular directory you have two more directories if number is showing four over there actually this is what the directory but i can see only number one over here so this is not showing properly but if you're working on a server then by default link for a uh, folder is a folder means directory because in unix we have a directory so by default directory we can assign number two and for files we can assign number one so it is not showing it properly because it's a freeware version it's a normal ubuntu app where you are only doing some practice but if you are working on the live server so make sure this is a link and i have given the description in my pdf where if you can see one means it's a file okay and if it is a two two means it's a directory you can see here d and you can see here four why it is showing four because it means there are two more directories available under music directory under this directory you can see two more files and this is actual server screenshot uh, I have taken here so then in the third column what you can see third column I can see owner who is the owner of that file now here owner name is also showing Mangesh and the group name is also showing Mangesh because it's a freeware version it's not an actual server but if you're working in a production that time you will, you will see who is the owner of that file and that person is working in which group through you can easily identify that thing so in our third column i can see the owner name and fourth column i can see the group name and this is also possible you can change it uh, we will see chow and change owner this is a command and let me see am i able to give this for 444 yyy.txt uh changing ownership is not possible but at the start i'm giving sudo if i will use sudo then my uh, user will get this that privilege so i can you you use this command so sudo has that power that mangesh user can easily execute this one okay because so mangesh is a normal user and in unix we already seen that root is a power user super user and uh, apart root has uh, everything root can do any com root can easily execute any commands but others command like other user like mangesh ramesh suresh they don't have that kind of privilege to uh, to give such kind of thing so that time you need to give sudo it will come with the power it's come with the uh, privilege which will assign to mangesh user and automatically this command will get executed in the system so if you see ls minus lrt now this group name and this is also changed so root has uh, now uh, let me give the uh, let me change the permission for others okay, um, first of all I'll let me add something cal uh, 2022 calendar I want to add pipe is a command uh, what pipe is doing output of first command storing in the new file so what I'm doing is uh, I'm storing that file in, in cat yyy.txt if I'll open this file I can see the calendar what I have done cat and file name it is opening that calendar now 
ls minus lrt uh, i'm changing the perf permission txt okay again who am i i am the normal user i cannot change the permission for this file but if i want to change it then i need to use sudo then execute this command 700 and then go for y y y now it will get executed okay now see here ls minus lrt here other permissions are removed this command we will see um, uh, i will create a new video but here you can see root user has all the permissions but other user doesn't have anything and now i have logged in with mangesh user so mangesh user will not able to open this file see cat yyy.txt it is showing permission denied uh, i will try with this cat yyy.txt it will open so sudo has that privilege to do anything on the system without permission okay so but if i am doing like this cat yyy it is showing permission denied issue because mangesh user doesn't have any permission no? that's why okay uh, we have seen that uh, it's uh, our uh, username uh, uh, it's a owner uh, who is the owner of this file and this is what the group actually now here you can see uh, file size it actually shows in blocks in by default unix shows file size in blocks so our fourth column is a group name but fifth column is a file size i uh, can see in my notes also it is showing a group fourth column but size shows in the fifth one and size shows in blocks in unix not in uh, kb mb and gb if you want to see it in uh, kb let me try with this command ls minus ls minus lh ls minus lh execute this and you can see that size in blocks the kb so this h is very important okay next date and time you can see after that six seven eight so here we have done with this is what my first column this is second this is third this is fourth this is fifth six seven eight it is a last modified time of that file so if you'll combine that six seven eight so it is a last modified time in some uh, operating system file time shows in this format some file system file it's a depend on flavor if you're using linux sun os hpx aix so you can see six uh, after size you can see the uh, date and time and it's a last modification time will show over there and at the last you can see the file name so you can see file name here it's a long list at the last column you can see the file name uh, i have given one screenshot over here ls minus lrti and uh, here we have seen please check the type so first you have used i also now ls minus lrti so in first column you can see the inode number then permission so similar way here you can see inode number uh, i'm sorry this font size is a little bit slow uh, very okay i'm trying to increasing it so first you can see index number means inode number then uh, you can see file permission then you can see uh, number of links uh, then owner who is owner root is owner group is also that root size you can see month day time and at the last you can see the file name okay so this is what the actual screenshot i have discussed just now and uh, this is uh, inode file type and permissions links owner group file size last modified time and file name or directory name this is what the output and this which we have covered in this video okay so after that you must be aware how to identify the files and directory in unis ls minus lrt do it if it is a dash means it's a file it's l means it's a linking file uh, we will see how to create it and uh, d means directory so directory you can easily execute with the help of cd abc dot XCD. so i came in that directory cd dot dot i can go to the menu now ls minus lrt cd 444.txt i'm doing it 444.txt why i'm not able to because it's not a directory it's a file and cd command you can only execute directory you can enter into a directory only with the help of cd command okay so i'm done with this theory part uh, of uh, ls minus lrt whatever you are getting the output uh in the next video we will start practicing of cat command a cat command is very less uh, it's very easy i can uh, complete in this video also and later we will work on cp and uh, 
uh, in the command. So cat command used to view the file, it used to create the file and it used to append the file. So that practice we will see, but okay, let me cover, let me create one more video for cat and CP command. So I'll prepare a new video for this and we will have practice on this. Thanks for watching this theory wala video. See you soon again with the next. Thanks guys.